Hello and welcome to Times XP. Today we are going to talk about a key figure in American law who is making waves. Judge Tanya Chutkan. She has recently been in the news for her involvement in the legal case surrounding US president elect Donald Trump and the January 6th Capitol attack. So let's start with some basic facts about her. Tanya Chutkan is a federal judge based in Washington DC and she has an Indian connection. Born in Jamaica, she grew up to become a highly respected lawyer and her legal journey took her from being a public defender to civil litigator. That means she helped people with legal problems and also worked on cases for the government. But it was her nomination to the United States District Court back in 2014 that put her in the spotlight. She was nominated by former president Barack Obama and What's interesting is that her confirmation by the Senate was anonymous, a rare event in the US politics. 950 voted in favor of confirming her as a judge. This shows how much trust the lawmakers have in her abilities and now let's get to her role in the recent case with Donald Trump. In fact, if you remember that this week only Tanya Chutkan became the judge overseeing a major legal matter involving Donald Trump and the January 6th Capitol insurrection, a significant event that supporters of Trump stormed the US Capitol building in Washington DC just to stop the certification of the 2020 election result. The prosecutor named Jack Smith filed a request to drop some of the charges against Trump including four felony count. So what did judge should come to? Let me tell you. She agreed to dismiss the charges but with an important condition. She explained that the case was being dismissed without a prejudice which means that the charges could be brought back later. Now this was because Trump as a sitting president at the time had temporary immunity meaning that he couldn't face certain legal actions while still in the office but the judge made it very clear that once trump is out of the office the legal battle could continue judge should can refer to the past cases to support her decision saying that when prosecutor asked to drop charges there's a strong legal reason to grant it unless there's evidence of unfair treatment or mistakes in the process now in this case she said that there is no such issue On the other hand, Trump of course didn't stay quiet. He took to social media and called her very biased and unfair. Now this is a part of a larger story. As Trump Khan is often criticized for being tough on high profile figures. But despite this, she continues to focus on uh, fairness in her ruling. If we talk about Chutkan's rule to uh, then uh, of course as we mentioned that she has Indian roots but she grew up in Caribbean and later moved to the United States for her higher studies. She earned a degree from Yale Law School and began her career helping people who couldn't afford lawyers. Her nomination to the federal bench by President Barack Obama came just after a long career and she quickly earned the reputation of an unbiased judge. she stuck to the law no matter who is involved her ruling in trump's case shows her commitment to following the legal process even when it involves high profile figures judge chutkan's work has been influential not just in the united states but also in how it impacts international law specifically cases involving political figures and the balance of power Now in an Indian context her decision can remind us of the importance of having a strong independent judiciary which holds even the most powerful people accountable for more such videos do follow times xp